Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the BYU Cougars, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Cowboys will put total weather to crank us up. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the BYU Cougars offense will have the first possession of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys. And it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Off the play fake. Caught near the sticks. It's Hill. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And that's why play action is going to be big in this game. You saw how it just freezed the second level of that defense just for a second and allowed the tight end to work himself vertically down the field. But how about this guy after the catch, right? So hard to bring down. What a weapon. From the shotgun now, here's an inside get. Slips one guy, and now he's loose. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Using his legs, it's Martin. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game early. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. He's got an open man, and he's knocked down, but there's also laundry on the field. We'll see what the officials have called. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Coming after him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. So the big blitz on third and almost unmanageable now leaves him in fourth and pretty much impossible. Yeah, perfect job by the defense, being aggressive, taking advantage of a known pass situation, catching the offense a little bit off guard. Maybe they thought they were going to play a little bit more conservative, but the blitz gets home, and they get the quarterback for the sack. BYU will bring the punt team on the field. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. So the Wyoming Cowboys offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team in jail. Running toward the tape. At the 30. Inside the 10. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Wyoming. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see, quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. Yeah, and just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Cougars will hustle to the line. They're going to ride this running back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then could collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. Looks as if BYU will have to punt it away. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. And you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Give to the running back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Feeling some heat. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's brought down, but there's a flag. Play. Let's see if it stands. Late hit on the quarterback gives this offense a free first down and some yardage. He's going to pass. Getting some heat. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And now on second down for this offense. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That play had zero shot. They got to do a better job up front, creating some running lanes. The running back, before he could go anywhere, getting tackled, nowhere to go. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. 
On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. Yeah, and the quarterback didn't have a chance. I mean, when you get to the QB that fast, Jesse, you're still processing information, for goodness sakes. And you're getting to the sideline whenever this drive is over, and you're asking for help from your offensive coordinator. You're asking, hey, can we slide our offensive line and help out blocking this guy? Can I get a tight end to stay in and maybe get a chip on this dude? Because I'm not feeling too comfortable right now back there knowing that we're trying to only block him with one guy. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Shakes off the defender. After that one, not quite so backed up as they're up to the 18-yard line. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. They'll leave it with him. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. To the ground. He's got it again. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. Hand off from the gun. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. BYU has this offense clicking. Wide out in motion. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Pass the 45. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Yeah, and way to be creative, way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly, get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job, nice play call by the offense. BYU with the first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He's going for it all. Hits him in stride inside the ten. Touchdown, BYU! Hauled it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. The field position was bad. The finish was great. Great way to answer that poor field position. Poor field position, no problem. How about it? Great job by the offense coordinator. This offense getting in a good rhythm early, even backed up, even in a predictable situation. Great job coming out. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the points come on a pass from 39 yards out. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. And he's tackled, but there's also a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Quarterback on the keeper. Oh, balls out! And he gets back on top of it and a first disaster. 
Good presence of mind by the quarterback there to not panic when the ball went on the ground and able to get it back. I would just like to see better ball security, Reese, from the quarterback, too. You know, you got to keep two hands on the ball at all times. It doesn't matter. You're looking downfield. You know you're going to have guys around you trying to swat away at the football. Got to keep two points of pressure at minimum on that ball, and the quarterback lucky of falling that one. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Listen, I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. Working the middle, it's complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but... Got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Entertaining first quarter, and we are all locked up after one as we take a quick look at some stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. New set of downs after that completion. They'll throw it on first down. They're setting up the screen. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. I know defenders hate quarterbacks and love nothing more than hitting them but you're hitting yourself in the gut when you get a 15-yard penalty. Fast motion from the offense. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, doing and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They're working that left side. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. Looking to throw for it. Quickly out to the tight end. Just outside the red zone, if they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. Man, he had to get rid of that thing. I don't even think he had time to find the laces, but he picks up the first down. Yeah, that's a great job. You know, third and short, the defense is bringing pressure. He sees the pressure, gets the football out, and gets just enough for the first down. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They make the stop after a pickup of three just inside the red zone at the 19. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Got three on first down at second and seven. Pressure coming. Using the quick game. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The Cowboys trying to cash it in on first and goal. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. He makes a grab. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. 
And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. Tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game when he can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. BYU has it back. The Cougars ready to get into that playbook. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays. You get worn out. You need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Sometimes in your playbook, you have run plays that are called run it runs. You leave the play on no matter what look the defense gives you. That time the defense was blitzing, but they just kept the play on. That is an attitude type run that you can run into any kind of look, and it paid off for. The give out of the gun. Shakes off the tackler. And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. BYU right back to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the right. It's complete. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, head open, and make a big play. This dude is special. BYU coming to the line with first and ten. doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll try the run. Brought down after a five-yard gain down to the seven. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. They got him to jump. The defense got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a first down. defense had them backed up and then they're in the neutral zone and the offense will say thank you very much he'll keep it himself they get him on the ground at the three-yard line but this defense is taking some punches 
Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and beat his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground, and that was pay dirt. The AT unit on the field. Splits those uprights right in half. A 70-yard touchdown drive and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. Fires to the wideout. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. And that's where quarterbacks, you know, they got to be very assertive. They got to believe what they see and really pull the trigger. But the longer they wait and they get off rhythm or off timing, a lot of times it ends up in incomplete passes. Four wide out set, three of them to the left on second and ten. Quick strike complete. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. This guy is just wearing them out. Another first down already has a couple of touchdowns in the first half, David. He has been a problem for this defense. And if I'm this offense, I'm going to continue to feature him. He's winning his matchups. I'm going to find him. It's just the first half, and he's already had himself a full game's worth of stats. Picks up the first down, still moving. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. First down physicality wins football games being able to run the football and create balance and and right here just choose up another first down get another chance to maybe continue to run the football and i feel like this guy too is just an explosive play waiting to happen his vision his quickness and he's got a burst if you give this guy just a crease he's going to hit it and right now he's doing some damage on this defense able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down and as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. They go to the ground. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five.
Might as well stick with him. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That deep is a different story. He had something to say coming up, making a physical tackle. BYU will bring the punt team on the field. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The punt team makes its way onto the field. Waves the arm for the fair catch, and the catch is made close to the 30-yard line. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. To the air on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. This quarterback right now is in a groove and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Looking to throw, it's Svoboda. Got his man to the left. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. Trying to find his man on first down. A strike downfield. So the offense accepts the roughing the passer penalty and they get a new set of downs. Looking to move it through the air. He's got it on the move. And he cruises his way to the house. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, the score is now 21 to 14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. They'll start this drive with a pass. Quickly to the tight end. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. He wants to throw. Finds a tight end. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. 
The Cougars will line it up on first and ten. He's going to pass, trying to get to it. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. He boomed it through. A 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half. And there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds, not allow them to answer. From inside the 10, here he comes. And the returner goes down. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower. And these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Cougars will line up to kick off and start the second half. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments. They put a stop to that return at the 22. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. All kinds of running room at the 20. Touchdown, Wyoming! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. How about the day for this young fellow? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again.
challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. They'll run play action. Caught over the middle. It's Brown. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Leaves it with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They go right back to him. And he's brought down, but a flag is also down. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Off play action. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. This defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. And the Cowboys are on the move. From the gun, the ground game. They'll be maybe one on the play. It's down to the 20. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. That's the beauty of misdirection in the run game, right? You try to show the defense one look, and then you come back and hit him the other way when they're not expecting it. And this defense has to step forward. Not only do they have to get a stop, they've got to do it quickly to keep that time from running down. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. The offense couldn't get the snap off in time, and it'll cost them. The Cowboys have it in scoring position on first and goal. To the ground with the back. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Yeah, and I love this. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to eat that clock, let it tick down. A field goal here, I'm up by two possessions. My, I'm still in a very good place. I don't have to get over-aggressive, Jesse, if I don't want to. No, and you can put this game out of reach, too. If you can score a touchdown, this thing's basically over. And you know at this area of the field, it's really hard to throw the football because the windows are so small. So be the more physical team. Go ice this game. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. If they can pay off this third and goal opportunity, man, oh, man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. They'll try the jet sweep going for the first down. Touchdown, Wyoming! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. On to attempt the try. And the extra point splits the uprights, and the lead balloons to 15.
Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The BYU offense headed back out to go on the attack. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Fires to the wide out. Makes a connection. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. BYU right back to the line. Wants to throw on second down. Finds a man on the left. And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag down. Let's see what this is about. The penalty wipes out the big play and the touchdown. It is just a punch in the gut for any offense. Trying play action. Fires to the middle. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Unloads to the wideout. 